to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Japanese train etiquette, specifically the top 10 things you must avoid doing while riding a train in Japan. So stick to the end to find out the most annoying top one. And without further ado, let's get to the 10th most annoying item. Which is to eat on a packed train. Do you actually see people doing this in Japan, Akina? Not really, I guess, because it's too annoying to do. But I do see a few people do that on a commuter train during rush hours. Yes. That's really annoying. Like, I saw some old guy who was drinking and eating smelly snack like squid. Uh. Like, that was after my work and I was so tired. And I felt something kind of really fishy and yeah. I was like, uh, what's going on on the train? <laughs> and then I found a guy drinking and eating squid. Smelled <laughs> like a seafood market, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what about just eating on a train that's not packed though? Is that okay? Uh, you probably want to avoid eating because it's gonna mess uh, around. I have to admit, I have eaten some things on the train before, but it's usually some small snack or something. Mm. But uh, yeah, you want to avoid eating in general. Drinking is okay. Drinking water or drinking... A, you could drink alcohol, but that's kind of looked down on. Mm -hmm. In general, drinking some beverage is okay, but eating? Probably not a good idea and definitely not on a packed train. Which brings us to the ninth most annoying thing, which is... Leaving empty cans or litters on trains. I really hate this one, actually. And you'd think that in Japan, you'd think people wouldn't do that because it is a very clean country. Like, I've seen on the train, people will leave things like a small coffee can or a small snack bag. It actually happens quite frequently and that is very annoying, right? I don't know if they do it on purpose or did they just forget it, but like the trains go around and stop, start, uh, kind of, you know, speed up, speed down. So these litters go everywhere. And if there is any tiny amount of liquid in a can, then that's they'll true. make a mess that's on true. the floor. Yeah. And that's so annoying. So please, please, please don't do this. Now it's time for the eighth item. Eighth item is putting on makeup on a train. Yeah, I guess some women actually do that here, right? I don't see it too often though. Do you see that? Yeah, frequently, I guess. Really? Mm. So that would be during the commuting times mostly? Yeah, usually. Like if a girl or woman gets a seat especially, they sometimes do a makeup. And that's annoying because it usually includes like this Kind of uh, okay. taking too much space. Yeah, elbow space. And also making a, putting a makeup is about using powder. Yes. So if you do... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be like me shaving on the train and you don't see any of that happening. So if you don't want to see a man shaving on the train, then you probably want to think twice about putting makeup on. Granted, I don't think travelers would actually do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a saying. Yeah, it is on the list that Japanese complain about, but I think you're probably safe for that one. Number seventh is to get on a train while you're super drunk. Yeah, I guess that happens sometimes, right? It's quite common. Yeah, travelers could do that. I guess you can't avoid being drunk, or you can, but at least try to keep it a little bit civilized if you're drunk. Yeah, I think the reason this is on the list is some businessman gets super drunk, like even not being able to stand properly, or they can't like sleep on the floor of the platform yeah. stuff. So that actually really annoying and some people want to fight or something when they are drunk yeah so that's kind of really annoying for us could be dangerous too i've seen a few guys that were just really wasted and they couldn't even stand properly so like they're kind of slumped over or something and people don't know if they should help them or if they should just go to the next train car i don't think foreigners do that very often but yeah the point is that if you get drunk just try to be very uh, quiet when you're on the train. Yeah. Don't be rowdy. Yeah. And then we probably get worried if you will be sick or not. Mm. And some people do get sick on a train or a platform and they do like... Ugh. 
they throw up <laughs> like by the tracks, which is super disgusting. Yeah. But I, I've seen that happen too. Yeah. So, yeah, just be sensible about the amount of alcohol you intake. Now it's time for the sixth most annoying item. So this one is about how you use smartphones. Ah、uh, yes. Like generally speaking, Japanese trains tend to get pretty crowded, and but you still want to do something, right? Especially on your phone, and it's so common to see people on phone all the time on the train. But when it's too crowded, but there's some people who want to take some space just to take、yeah. to use the phone. They're getting aggressive. They kind of have the space, which I think they own this airspace, which is in front of their body. So they kind of hold it like aggressively. Yeah, it doesn't happen that often, but. And the other thing is, some people would、uh, play a game on the smartphone, yeah, that's the and then that you、me. go like, shh, shh, and like you were like, oh, what? Some people are getting like aggressive, like feverishly playing a game where they're like flicking something like crazy, and they're just like, if they're sitting in their in the seat, they're like hunched over, kind of taking up space that someone could stand. It happens enough that it's kind of annoying. The other one is if they're getting on or off the train while they're looking at their phone. That's also like annoying and dangerous. Yeah. Because there's usually a gap between the train and the platform. So yeah, I would say like just be mindful. Although you might have to use your phone to figure out where you're going or something like that, you do have to be mindful. Yeah, just like try to stop kind of somewhere which wouldn't bother other ones, others,、yeah. or something like that. The other day, I was really annoyed about a guy who was really standing close to me, and you can't really choose which way you turn or like you face to. Yeah, sometimes when the, when the commuter train is so packed. So like I was kind of facing to a guy like this, like and I was <laughs> really close like this, and you just want to you know look down and kind of be awkward. Yeah. But the guy was having his phone like here. <laughs> I was like. That's、oh. weird. That's weird. Well, so annoying. Like you know, you just be mindful about how you use smartphone, especially on a public train. Even off the train, when you're in the station, people do this thing sometimes where they just stop and they're using their phone. But like she mentions, yeah, I like to stop by a wall or by like a、mm-hmm. a support beam or something, so that people are not really going to be inconvenienced by. My using the phone. Yeah, the one thing trains company are really big on these days is not to use smartphones while you are walking on the platform. Yeah. That you know you could bump into someone, someone, or you might just walking too close to the train and stuff. You might even walk off the platform, <laughs> which I saw one of their public service announcement posters <laughs> actually showed like a guy's like using his phone and whoa he's falling off the platform. Yeah. So don't do that. Don't be that guy. <laughs> Now it's time for the fifth item. I personally hate 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 this, which is leaking sound from headphones. <laughs> yeah, some people blast the music very loudly on their headphones. Yeah, and when sound is leaking off from headphones or earphones, it's always the only annoying sound, like. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you only hear the annoying parts. Yeah. But yeah, there are some people that are really into their music here, as there are, I guess, worldwide. And when they do, they have really expensive, powerful headphones, and they're just blasting the way. So, yeah, you probably wouldn't do that as a tourist anyway. But、mm-hmm. if you are thinking about doing it, think twice. Now it's time for the fourth item. Fourth item is about the etiquette about when you're getting on and getting off. So don't cut in the line or don't push anyone. Yeah, I guess that's kind of obvious, right? But、uh, sometimes when it's crowded, it seems like there is a tendency for some people to push. Yeah. And it is pretty annoying, actually. Like that happened to us yesterday, actually, to me. Yeah, it's actually really dangerous too. Like there's a gap between the train and the platform. Yeah. So you, if you are pushed, you might ha- like you might not be able to watch your foot. Yeah, you might trip or something. So yeah, yeah the point is, don't push.、Um, I guess you probably wouldn't anyway, but don't do it. Yeah, like you might expect that Japanese are always polite. 
But sometimes people get an, like aggressive on a train, especially packed commuter train. People can be kind of aggressive. So maybe you want to be careful about these people too because they are ready to buy a fight, pick up a fight. Really? <laughs> yeah, like I saw a lady who actually kicked a guy or like. What? Yeah. So just be polite so that you'll be safe. What? You mean I could get karate chopped just for going on a train? There's a lady who was trying to get off the train and she thought she was pushed by a guy and、okay. she got really annoyed and she was trying to stamp on him with a high heel or something. What? Like, what? I'm doing like kind of kicking and stuff style.、Oh, like, just, people are kind of stressed out. That sounds pretty funny actually. <laughs> people are kind of stressed out on a commuter train so like avoid it or just be polite. Yeah. Also, when you're waiting in line, obviously you shouldn't cut the line.、Mm -hmm. There's like a space where you can wait for the line, and you'll see people queuing up. And you might occasionally see someone kind of like cutting the line, which is very annoying and、uh, it's very frowned upon. Just don't do it yourself. Don't obviously cut a line. I think in some other countries it's quite common, but in Japan it's very looked down upon. And now it's time for the third most annoying item. Okay, now we are in the top three now. The third one is not caring about the manner about seating. Oh, okay. So what are the manners about seating? Like spreading your legs too much, or like throwing your legs too long, or you know, okay, yeah, person spreading, yeah, crossing <laughs> is the yeah, one. Sometimes、true. I want to cross my legs. I feel like it. Alleviates pressure on your back or something. I don't know why it feels comfortable to do it, but unless the train is like extremely、uh, empty, it's not good to cross your legs.、It's, you just keep your legs in, basically. Yeah, just give some space for the others, and this includes、uh, putting your luggage on the seat too. Like, just give the seat to the others. Unless it's really empty. Yeah, if you're sitting down, just imagine that that little space is your space, and that's it. You know, you can't be going out of your zone, putting your legs out. You can't be、uh, dilly dallying around. And most of the cases, these trains seat have like kind of blocks. It could be either like bump for each, that's true,、yeah. or like there could be some patterns on. Then that kind of implies how many people can sit on the bench. Right. So if you're feeling like a weird bump on your bottom, that means you are probably taking too much space, and that's also annoying because you, you feel like, oh, I could sit here, but this person is taking too people's space. Yeah. Now, if you're a Westerner, you might be、uh, larger in body size, so. Just take that into account. Like I'm, sometimes I feel like I'm taking up a little bit too much space. If I'm sitting in one space and then there's another big guy sitting in another space, then between us, like maybe someone can't sit down unless they're a really small person. So I would say, if you're big, you can't really do anything about it. But just、um, try to, you know, take up less space instead of just spreading out and be like, yeah, what's up? Uh, just try to be taking up as little as you can、uh, within whatever is possible for、uh, your body shape or size. The second most annoying thing on the train is being too loud. Yes, I guess it goes without saying, right? But you should not be speaking very loudly on the train. Yeah, like especially on commuter train. It's so quiet, actually. Like you could hear a pin drop, even. There will occasionally be groups of Japanese people who are louder, especially if they have been drinking. But just in general, you want to be the same volume as the people that are on the train. So just follow that. Being loud is quite annoying, and it's also annoying to me, even when I hear local people doing it, doing it. So don't be that guy, right, Akina? Mm-hmm. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for—the number one most annoying thing you could possibly do on a Japanese train, which is having your luggage like without any care. Yes. Like this might be related the most for travelers in Japan, but if you have like suitcase 
then you want to put it like really close to you and make it sure that it wouldn't move around. It is highly irritating, you know? Yeah. Like, trains here are not like trains abroad, like America or UK or Europe. There's not too much space unless you go on like Shinkansen or like special trains. Yeah. So basically, there's nowhere to put big luggage, so you want to be careful how you deal with it. And if you are carrying a suitcase, you want to be careful how you carry it too because there are too many people so you someone might trip over on a suitcase and stuff yes so basically you should avoid rush hour if possible if you do have the luggage and you're sitting down try to keep it in front of you held tightly at all times or kept between your legs or if you're standing up try to get the spot when you first walk on the train there's a spot like next to the seats where you can kind of put the luggage against the wall. You want it propped up against something because if it's rolling around, it's very annoying and dangerous. Like yesterday, actually, we were on a train and some traveler had a bag and I don't know what she was doing, but it kept rolling like out of control. And everyone was highly irritated by that bag. Yeah, and the other thing we hate is uh, backpack being on the back when it's crowded because you can't really control your back where the back is going when you you have the backpack on the back and you kind of tend to move when you talk to your yeah, company you're like, you're, you have the bag on your back and you're like what did you say Akino? And you go like this yeah Slam like maybe you. not that much but if the train is packed enough then the bag is annoying enough like it could scratch someone or hit someone so people want you to have the backpack in front of you, yeah. kind of holding so that you wouldn't hit anyone with yeah. that bag. Just put the backpack on in reverse. It's actually good for your posture too, try it out. And actually trains usually have some shelf yeah, on you, the seat. Yeah, above, above the, seat. the seat you can stow your luggage on there. You can't put a gigantic bag up there or a big piece of luggage, but you can put a backpack up there. Yeah, or, or a big handbag. Yeah, so use that. Yeah, and if you have a big luggage around your, like, between your legs, then you try to keep it compact as well so that people can stand around you as well. Right. Mm. Just the point is be mindful for the others. Yeah, and mm. don't let your luggage roll around the train like crazy. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this list of things to avoid doing on Japanese trains. If you enjoy our content and you want to help us to continue to make more, then feel free to check out our Patreon link down below. We have a lot of rewards if you help to support our channel on a monthly basis. And we're trying to get up to 10 patrons because if we do, we're going to get Akina a delicious sushi lunch. Sushi! Okay. And if you want to learn more about traveling to Japan, feel free to check out our previous episodes. We got an in-depth guide about the Shinkansen bullet train, and we got a top 10 list about things you shouldn't do when traveling in Japan. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching this video, video everybody. everybody. Why, Why don't, don't you leave a comment? comment? Let, Let us know, know what you think. think.